All right, I'm going to have a go at the Guardian's Cryptic Crossword for Tuesday, January 23rd, set by Paul. Um, I did have a look through and I was not making much progress at all. Um, but then I looked at this long one, it's in two parts, 13 and 9, and uh, spare outside left brought in by West Ham, Tops beaten bottom in Blackburn Rovers football team. And I suppose I've done enough of these that I just thought, ah, football team is the definition. And it's going to be some other team, not any of these ones that have been mentioned. And I realized Wolverhampton Wanderers fits. And I can understand some of the wordplay but uh, not all of it, so I'm, I'm going to have to check the uh, crossing letters to make sure I'm right. I think the Wanderers might simply be a synonym for Rovers, and therefore all the first part up to Blackburn is just giving us Wolverhampton. Um, spare well, I mean, we have West W and then Ham, and in between we have O-L-V-E-R. I think Spare might be an over, and I think that might be a cricket term. An over is outside L for left. And that would leave us with P-T-O. Yes, yeah, so top is beaten, our anagrams, to give us PTO. And then the bottom in Blackburn is the N. So yeah, actually I have been able to work out the wordplay after all. Um, so I am yeah, fairly confident about that. Uh, I did, just before I started recording, look at this one, and I think I've twigged it. Random, this is more, though not entirely haphazard and I realized ah it's probably an anagram <coughs> excuse me of this is more but not all of the letters because we're only looking for nine letters this is more has ten so I think if we drop the e and anagram we get hit or miss which is a definition of uh, haphazard all right so vocal practice Feed into the endless calling, 6, 7. Um, I was wondering about vocation as a calling and if it's endless, might just be missing the final N. But um, vocal... Um, I am wondering if it's going to be choral something. Um, but not sure about that. All right, let's look at this one. The first to look away due to star exploding. Oh, something T. Um, Oh, could it be an anagram of due to star? And it means the first to look away. That's a funny definition, if that is right. Anyway, I'm going to pause here and uh, just see if I can anagram due to star. No, nothing is coming to me. Uh, so let's maybe try and get another few letters. Sound of ignominious defeat, unholy alliance, originally, having done U-turn. I wonder what the originally, could it be the starting letters of some of these words? S-O-I-D-U-A, no, I don't think so. Or H-D. Use. I think it may, the definition may be having done U-turn. But there's an awful lot of uh, 
verbiage here, sound of ignominious defeat, unholy alliance. Well, alliance originally might be the A of alliance. But, yeah, no, I'm not sure. Um, oh, or maybe, um, maybe we, maybe the definition is the sound of, no, it doesn't sound right, sound of ignominious defeat, but then it's, the unholy and alliance is then flipped around so maybe it's a word that begins with a and then a word for unholy backwards no not getting it well, this one should be easy v something r virgo maybe verso maiden voyage by small destroyer leaving America. Um, I can see Virgo maybe for a maiden. Can V be voyage? But I don't see the small destroyer. Maybe some word where US is removed. Vigorous. No, not getting that. Tempers are initially absent where unmarried couples live together. 5 2. Let's see. Probably our AI. Or UI, or OI, or EI, or HI. No, I should get that, but um, not seeing it. Where unmarried couples live together. I, when I first read through this, the clues, I was thinking of shack up, but I couldn't make that work. No. All right, how about arm broke? then leg, ultimately, in shock. Um, yeah, I think maybe shock might be the definition. Maybe starting with an anagram of arm, M-A-R, mark, something. <clears throat> then leg ultimately could be the G at the end of leg. And it's shock. No, not getting that. Players in Irish barony once defeated competitor. Well, just from the letters and the Definition of a defeated competitor, I'm thinking also ran, but where is the, um, the players in Irish barony once defeated? No, not uh, so I'm going to leave it in, but um, don't get the wordplay. Merit a couple of eggs from French waiter. Um, from French, could that be D E or D U? Merit. Um, no, not getting that. Umpteen converts or converts set about Catholic small proportion. I wonder if it 
could be partially an anagram of umpteen, which is seven letters. Um, but then set about, oh, Catholic then would be a C, and small could be S, so maybe we add C and S to umpteen, and we get a proportion. What, what three-letter word beginning with a P? Put, pet, that's really all I can see, pen, proportion, pen, something, mm. let's try the anagram helper, uh, this, of course I may be completely wrong. Oh, um, no, I was thinking of something percent, but uh, nothing is coming to me here. So I may be completely wrong on that. Am I less than friendly guy? Am I less? Uh, I'm not getting that either. Oh, goodness. Classic line in game of cricket, effective at first. Well, effective at first could be E. Line, I think, can just be L. I wonder if it could be oldie, an oldie, a classic. But that would mean that game of cricket is ODI. Oh, yes, there's a one day international. So I think that's, uh, hmm, okay. Uh, and Italian cities, one in the US. I wonder if it's um, an American city. But, um, oh, um, Annapolis? Because it's A-N, so just simply A-N, and then Napoli, apostrophe S. And so it's actually a city in the U.S. Fairly confident about that. I smiled if worried about discontentment in career is dash that it. Funny punctuation there. Yeah, whoa. That is very cryptic. All right, let's uh, take a look at our downs. Cap, off, cook. Well, off and cook can both be anagram indicators, but for a five-letter answer, I don't think that's the case here. Cap, off, cook. Nope. Action of football player, by virtue of, good result. Oh, I wonder with the W if it could be throw in, which is an action taken by a football player. And we do have win at the end, which is a good result. And THRO, I think, is a acceptable abbreviation of through, meaning by virtue of. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now, uh, let's try the anagram helper here for due to star. And 
it should be the first to look away. Which is a very funny definition. Yeah, so it's not outer anyway, but it could be out, out, uh, outstared. Ah, I think. Actually, wouldn't outstared be the last to look away? Um, but I'm fairly confident of that. How does that help cap off cook? No. All right, how about Marx in Germany invested in playing tennis? Oh, I wonder if Marx could be in dense. And so it's simply in is in. D, oops, uh, D-E is Germany. And then invested in playing uh, tennis. Oh, no, I think, <coughs> excuse me, it's an anagram of tennis. And then D for Germany is put inside it. Yeah, I think that's simply it. Now our vocal practice feed into the endless calling. Hmm, not sure where that first word could be. At least I know it's not Coral. All right, um, how about awkward when leader of gang short of competition? Leader of gang is G short of competition, maybe a word for competition that doesn't finish. Does it mean awkward, gangly? Um, I am wondering if this is a G, if this word could be something singing, that would then be an N, a gentle encouragement good in painting yes so i think having the idea that's an n gave me nudge uh, so good is g in a nude which can be a subject of a painting now our sound of ignominious defeat unholy no nothing there but what could that be something singing and vocal, so I think it is, the definition is going to be vocal practice. Maybe it's just vocal. Um, harmony singing, background singing. No, not getting it. Um, I did think this might be Virgo, which means this would end in T something O cap off cook nope nothing coming to me anything here for awkward uh, no i'm sure there's some word on the tip of my tongue but not thinking of it ridiculous piece nurse cuts off having opened uncle sam's zip 
That's a good one. Um, so I think it's going to be a ri ridiculous piece, I suppose. Like a piece of satire, a um, or some comedy sketch, or no nurse cuts off. Could be well, it could be nurse without its final letter. Having opened Uncle Sam's zip, this maybe the nurse put inside. Uncle Sam, of course, could be the U.S. And zip could be energy or get up and go. That's a good one. Uh, benefit increase with ever-changing investment. Now, not getting that. Uh, supermarket after things with squashed flies in the middle for biscuit. Um, could supermarket be, oh, I think it is. I was, for some reason, I did think of uh, Little or Lidl and Aldi as supermarket chains. And there is a biscuit named after the Italian leader Garibaldi. So the supermarket comes after things. with squashed flies in the middle. And yeah, maybe, I'm pretty sure it has to be Garibaldi. Yeah, I, funnily enough, I remember at school, one of our teachers asked us what biscuit is named after a famous Italian, and I said Polo, uh, named after Marco Polo, and of course it was Garibaldi. I do love a polo biscuit. I haven't had one of those in years. Um, but how can we get the squashed flies, things with squashed flies in the middle? The flies can be, I think, a part of a theater. And of course, they can be bugs. They can be... Um, No, I'm, I'm at a loss to explain that one. Of course, I may be wrong, but let's try. Arm broke, then leg ultimately. Uh, so maybe that G then is leg ultimately, and then could it be just in? Um, slow gin? But that's not shock. Of course, it could be arm. Oh, yeah, so arm is the definition, I think. Uh, so broke. Then uh, broke, maybe shot. No, then leg ultimately in shock. Oh, shock, I think, is stun. Uh, broke. Then leg, ultimately. What is that, a sten gun? Arm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to be something gun as an arm, but broke. What's a short abbreviation for broke? Ah, then leg ultimately in shock. Um, well, let's try Sten gun, and I'm going to go ahead and check this does seem to be right. 
but I don't get the unless oh could it be broke then so it's just half of then en then the leg ultimately yeah i think that may be it all right how does that help our awkward short of competition No, not getting that. And our ridiculous piece. I uh, wonder if it could end in NCE. Uh, and then, am I less than friendly guy? Less than friend. The guy, of course, can be a verb. I think it's to make fun of in a friendly way, to guy somebody. Am I less? <laughs> no, not getting that one. Um, let's see. Really lacking in energy. On going uphill around hospital. All right, so it sounds like some word goes upwards around an H. Really lacking in energy, I presume. Or it could be really lacking, maybe. Um. I'm going uphill around the hospital. I'm going to pause here and rehydrate and think about that one. Ah, it occurred to me uh, that maybe the definition is really and something you say to somebody um, not half, because I was also thinking, where could that H go? Uh, so let's see, going uphill, I think, is flat, lacking in energy around the hospital. Um... Lacking, oh, lacking. Oh, and then on is uh, backwards as well. On going uphill um, also goes backwards. Okay, so that F should be useful. Well, if it wasn't such a cryptic definition, I smiled if worried. So, oh, if might be anagram oh, it might be an anagram of I smiled if yeah I should have thought about that so that gives us nine letters and we need four more if worried about discontentment in career is well maybe hmm Not sure. Oh, um, thank you. Hold on a moment. Yes, yeah, so uh, it, I had to check. It was Sean left a comment on a previous video that discovered can mean remove the covers from a word, uh, the outer letters. But I'm wondering now if discontentment in career is removing the contents of career to give C and R. Um, and then the word crisis comes to mind to fit in there. Oh, could we get midlife? Yes, we can. Midlife crisis. Is that it? I think that is probably the definition of a midlife crisis when you wonder, is this it? Ah, very clever. All right, we haven't looked at this one uh, yet, and just looking at the letters, immediately thought of Capri. And sure enough, it is Isle in 124 days. Well, 
C would be a hundred. Um, the what are the other twenty four? And then days. Surely it has to be Capri. But I do not get the the rest of it. Let me go ahead and check it. It is correct. All right. Am I less than friendly guy? What words uh, even fit cubic? Cobra? Oh, I can't think of anything that would uh, fit that. All right, how about, uh, we haven't looked at this one either. A uh, very bad day, one covered by last month. Very bad day. Might be very bad as the definition. And then maybe D and I are in the middle. Covered by last month. Could be um, D E C for December. Um Day one, of course, last month in um, old business correspondence, what did they say? Didn't they say inst for the current month? Oh, what did they say for the last month? But I think it might just simply be uh, December. So what's a, um, oh, demonic. Uh, Monday is the day. It's a very bad day and one mon and I covered by DEC. And that is very bad. All right, merit a couple of eggs from French waiter. Well, deserve fits. Deserve. It's not, um, well, serve could be a waiter serves and from French is D-E. But where do the couple of eggs, could it be um, in French, and my French pronunciation is terrible, but does earth deserve, deserve, I think. That is an incredible stretch, if that is it. Let me go ahead and check that. It seems to be right. I, mm, my eyebrows are raised by that one, I can tell you. All right, now we do have uh, something. Yeah, the M, the P, T, and M are all in umpteen. I'm just not sure about the C and the S, and it might mean proportion, proportion as in a, some part of a, of a larger, or proportion as in to, um, and I don't think it's to portion out, but to scale or um, not, not getting it. Maybe um, could it be a phrase in another language? Let's try and get 15 down. Benefit increase with ever-changing investment question mark. Ever-changing investment. Maybe ever is anagrammed, ever changing. Benefit increase, you know, cost of living. 
something bonus. No, not getting that. How about where unmarried couples live together? Well, I was thinking of shack up, but is it something in? Um, unmarried couples, but it may be a, um, a pun here. Let me pause and think about that. Well, I didn't get that, but I did look again at my umpteen converts um, about Catholic. And I was thinking, because I needed two letters, it would be C and S. But then I thought, oh, Catholic could be RC. And then having the R, uh, I think I did say something about percent earlier, but percentum is a small proportion. All right, now surely, oh, I haven't looked at this one yet. Head cut from nail with two straight lines. I wonder if it could be radii. Yes, so um, the two is the ii, and then straight lines is the definition. And I think it's a brad is a nail, and you remove the B to get rad. All right. I'm getting there slowly but surely. So now our benefit increase. Uh, purse, purse. Ever changing investment. No. And still nothing on am I less than friendly guy. No. Keep thinking of Casper the friendly ghost. Maiden voyage. Let me, uh, I think I'm at the point <coughs> where I'm going to make some guesses, uh, check them, and if they're not right, I will reveal. So let's try Virgo. It is correct. All right, so I think Maiden is Virgo. Voyage by small destroyer leaving America. No, not getting why that is correct. My cap off cook. Um, cap. Cook. No, I'm not getting anything for that, so let's go ahead and reveal it. Outdo. So I think you have to cap somebody's achievement to outdo them. Off. Cook. I don't get that. Um, at all, unless off is out, then how is cook do? I suppose that, you know, if you say I'm going to do the potatoes, you mean you're going to cook them? But that seems a little weak to me. All right, let's try our vocal practice. Feed into the endless calling. So I presume it's a word for feed. Could that be like hay or um, put inside? Hmm. But I do think it's something singing. Uh, what could come between the O and the T? An R, an S, another O. But then what comes between the H and the O? Oh, um, there is the throat singing. 
done is it in uh, the Himalayas um, so how would that be feed or oh, feed then is oats ah, I wasn't too far wrong with hay and that goes into oh the endless is th and then calling I suppose is just simply singing a feed is or maybe just simply out and hmm let's go ahead and check that it is correct wow that's uh, quite obscure and it's so a vocal practice I was thinking of somebody warming up their voice but no it's just a way of singing a practice of singing all right let's try this awkward oh I wonder if it could be less so short of competition is something less following the G for leader of gang. I can only think of guileless, which I'm not sure if I think of as meaning awkward. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is wrong. Well, let's check it. It is wrong. Okay, so what? Let me pause again and think what could go in there for short of competition and meaning awkward ah yes graceless so not having a race you're short of competition yeah that's correct all right sound of ignominious defeat unholy alliance originally having done u-turn no, I have absolutely no idea about that, so let's go ahead and reveal it. Audio, so simply sound. Oh, so I, th I had said maybe it's the opening letters, um, but I failed to follow through on that. Sure enough, it is A-U-D-I-O working backwards, having done a U-turn. Uh, disappointed in myself. I think I should have persevered and got that one. All right. Oh, so now I am thinking of a ridiculous piece here is nonsense verse. I just needed that O oh, in second place. Um, so nurse cuts off having opened Uncle Sam's zip. Yeah, not getting, uh, there's an awful lot to handle there. Zip could be verve, but um, cuts off, nurse cuts off, having opened Uncle Sam's. No, I'm going to have to depend on one of you to uh, explain that to me. I do appreciate it, by the way, when people take the time to leave a comment explaining. Um, all right. Am I less than friendly guy? Well, there's the cable guy film where uh, Jim Carrey is overly friendly. Um, so let's try cable. It is correct. Am I less than friendly? It's not a hidden clue. Um, am I less than friendly guy? I don't get that. I, I mean, I can see we have Able. We have Cab. No, I don't understand that at all. All right, let's try Tempers are initially absent for unmarried couples live together. 
uh, something rains in. Um, no, I'm going to go ahead and reveal that. Oh, it is rain. Oh. Okay. Um, so I think it's in sin. Unmarried couples live together. Are initially absent. Ah, yes. So it's the word are with its first letter missing it gives us re and then unmarried couples live in sin and tempers is simply reigns in wow tricky tricky all right so benefit increase with ever-changing investment um and there are like surge pricing Surge, serve. No, I'm going to have to give up on that one too. Serve well. Okay. Serve well. Not. Oh, well, I, I think we. So I think it is the anagram of ever. Um. And the increase is the swell, I think. And it is ever, the anagram of ever is invested or put inside of swell. And so a to benefit somebody, oh, it serves you well. Ah, that is another very tricky one. All right, if you were able to get those, I am very impressed. Uh, as for me, well... I got some that I was proud of, but there were a few I missed that I think if I had spent more time, I might have got them. Anyway, thank you for watching and have a great day.